In this video, I showed y'all exactly what I put in my hair, how to get bomb ass curl definition, how to style, maneuver, and finesse your bangs, and how to get volume. Come on, sis. Come on. Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, pour it. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face, wanna know what I got. Love what you see, you wanna deal on my shit so high, yeah, I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. Hey guys, what's good? What's poppin'? It's your turn, Brianna. If you don't know, now you know my name. We're best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And join the fam. And when you do, make sure that you turn on your push notifications so you're always notified every single time I post a video, okay? So in today's video, I tried to do my best version of my wash and go. I'm still learning my hair. I have a lot of texture differences going on. Um, so yeah, this video is... This video is dedicated to those who have heat damage or like recently just cut their hair and trying to find products to help best define the curls and find your curl pattern and girl all the craziness that you deal with with natural hair. So yeah, if you're interested, just keep on watching and I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, boom. So this is what my hair looks like after being towel dried. FYI, don't be like me and use a towel. Use a t-shirt to dry your hair. It's just more gentle on your curls, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do is section my hair off. Look at my hair flying. I had a fan on, girl. It was hot as hell in my room. But basically, sectioning my hair just allows me to pay attention to my curls in more detail. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Before I add my products, I'm going to drench my hair in water it's just water water it's like no okay i pay attention to tiktok too much but basically drenching my hair allows me to reveal my natural curl pattern every time i do a wash and go i'm going to wet my hair first okay it just helps especially with the detangling process and speaking of that i'm going to use my fingers to finger comb my hair before i use a brush like a dimmin brush or anything like that because you're just being more gentle on your hair your fingers can feel the tangles and separate them a little bit more gently than in a brush wheel okay and in between I'm gonna show you guys my curls so y'all can see the process throughout the video so the first product that I'm gonna use is this kinky curly not today detangler it's a bomb all of the links will be in the description box below just to let you know I'm gonna add this detangler to soften my hair make sure you get them roots girl okay if your hair is anything like mine it's super frizzy and thick and dry at the root and i hate it so yeah make sure you add moisture to the roots you don't want them to be dry and as you can see my curls are starting to pop out a little bit um and we are just working that product all throughout the hair so we can distribute it and you already see my curls are looking a little bit more juicy than they were before now we're going to add the curl enhancer smoothie by Shea moisture i love this product girl and it smells oh so good um i use a lot of this actually i think i added more and basically adding a curling cream or a styling cream helps define and clump your curls also it's adding moisture to your hair okay your curls aren't gonna pop if they're dry simple okay simple and now you're starting to see that my hair looks a little bit more elongated because this product is really thick okay so if you have a good styling cream comment down below because i need to get put on okay so after i do that i add some gel so this is the shea moisture's gel souffle and it's super thick I don't know what's going on with this product <laughs> like you literally can't add that to your hair like that it doesn't it doesn't seep into your hair cuticles or whatever girl I don't know so basically I put it in a small container and I put it in a microwave I don't know who I saw do this on YouTube but thank you sis because this helps the product really seep into my hair so basically adding a gel locks in the style and it reduces fizz and that's exactly what I need my hair gets so fizzy but you gotta be careful with this product. I think I added a little bit too much, and that's why my hair looks a little bit weighed down throughout this video. So I'm learning, you know, this is the first time that I did that. Usually I use Eco. I didn't use any Eco in today's video. I'm really trying out new things. So this is a process that you guys will come along with me on this journey, okay? So now I am also using a detangler. This is basically helping me distribute that product and my curls are starting to come to life. But they're not there yet. I need to finger coil my hair to smooth my curls and define like the ultimate 
curl pattern you know what i mean like this is just helping separate the curls bring them to life make them pop bang boom pop you know what i'm saying so yeah this is the process this is the part of the process that takes the longest to do girls kind of annoying you know i wish i could just brush my hair and my curls can form like this but that ain't the case it's not realistic okay so basically after doing that to my hair this is what it looks like and y'all oh my god this is probably tmi i don't know if y'all saw how dry my neck was i am developing eczema or eczema you know girl you got eczema girl comment down below what y'all use if you have eczema because this is stressing me out okay i know that's not what you're here for so basically i'm gonna get back to the video but yeah i'm doing this entire process all over again so i'm gonna be quiet for a little bit and i'm gonna let some music play because girl <laughs> i'm tired of talking so i'll see y'all in a little bit okay Okay, you guys, so here I am jumping back in to show you guys what it looks like. Um, don't worry, it's not going to look like this once it's dry. But basically, I'm coming in here to tell you guys that my hair is going to look completely different and it's going to take to the products completely differently on this side of my hair because ding, 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 I am experiencing heat damage. So as you can see, the curls are just super long. They're not really like coiled up yet. And basically, this entire side of my hair appears to be longer than the other, even though I cut it at the same exact length. It's just because it's heat damage, okay? So now I'm showing you guys how I'm dealing with, like, the front part of my hair slash my bang area. Um, I do the same exact thing, but I try to take bigger sections because I want my curls in the front to look a little bit more fluffy. And I'll pull and brush and coil everything to the front of my head. And now this is what it looks like this is what it's looking like um so yeah i just gotta learn my hair and learn how the products take to my hair so now we're gonna move over into diffusing i'm using the jimry blow dry from amazon it's bomb.com i kind of burnt it but anyways i'm using low heat or like i'm using the low setting in cool air i'm not putting heat on my hair period i already went through that okay no more heat damage all right and I realized that diffusing takes a long as time. Like, I don't know if y'all natural hair takes long to dry when you have this much product in it. Like, when my hair is in its natural state with no product, it dries super quick. But when I have a lot of product added, it takes forever. So, I sat here for about 30 minutes diffusing, and this is what it looks like. Not much has happened, basically. The right side looks dry, but the left definitely does not. And I don't have enough patience. So, I'm going to use this heated cap by Eleganti. Don't worry. It only heats your hair if you put the blow dryer on the heat setting, which I did not. Again, I'm using cool air. So, I sat under this for a couple of hours, girl. A couple of hours. And it works better because I'm lazy, okay? So, right now, it was about it was about 2 o'clock. And this was a couple of hours later. My hair is... A little dry but you see how this side needs to come up and it needs to come out and I need more volume and this side has more shrinkage so I need to elongate it so basically I am going to clip my hair up on the right side and I got to stretch my hair out a little bit don't worry still not using heat but I am using the tension method just to stretch out the curls um, and a lot of people do this in their wash and go routines because it adds more volume so i'm also using a wide tooth comb a lot of people use p 
picks i have one i just don't know where the freak it is um and basically this is going to stretch out my hair so i can appear to have the same length even though i do you know it's it's all about the illusions when it comes to your hair okay so i basically did that for that side and this side i'm taking the comb and i'm pulling upwards because i want to add more volume okay so instead of doing the tension method I don't know what method this is called but that's what I did and you see it's starting to come together but don't worry because my hair isn't fully dry yet so now we have to tackle these bangs honey so basically I just pull certain pieces up and I pin them I try to make sure that the bobby pins aren't showing just to get them out of my face I didn't actually cut bangs like my hair in the front is still basically as long as the rest of my other hair because girl I was scared okay I was a little afraid to cut the bangs baby but I may end up doing it because this is getting on my nerves so I'm probably gonna cut my hair a little bit shorter but until I do that the bobby pants definitely work and it gets my curls out of my eyes so yeah it just takes a lot of messing around filling out how your hair will look in certain positions so yeah here I'm just Pulling out curls, trying to fill up the space in front of my forehead as much as possible. And yeah, it just takes a little maneuvering, okay? So mess with your curls, see what works for you, and we'll get there, okay? We'll get there together, all right? <laughs> okay, you guys, so basically my hair gets bigger and bigger as it gets dry. It's still kind of like, it kind of has like that tacky feel because of the gel souffle that I did put in. Also, my bangs kind of shrink and shrivel. And the hair just, this side will eventually turn to be, this side will eventually look a little bit more like this side. You see how the curls are tighter. Do know that this is my heat damage side. Um, no, I did not put any heat on my hair at all throughout this video. Everything was on cool air. Um, or I, I really just took that daggone cap off because I was irritated and I just let, um, you know, natural air do its job but my hair does take a really long time to dry so it will get bigger and fluffier um i did not share the time with you guys right now it's 409 okay oh almost showed y'all something that y'all not supposed to see yet but um yeah the hair will get bigger it will shrivel i like it big and tight and curly honestly it just looks more healthier that way but yeah y'all that's basically how i do my wash and go, how I incorporate the products that I do, what I, how I use, how I shingle, how I smooth out my hair to get my best curl definition. It's also how I stretch my hair and how I diffuse my hair um, and how I try to tame these bangs, honey. I feel like my front of my hair is already growing back long if that makes sense girl jesus christ um still learning how to deal with my hair having two different textures is not easy at all but hopefully this video kind of gave you guys some insight of how to manage your curls okay so comment down below how you think i did um it's not perfect even though i'm a perfectionist i'm still trying to like make sure my shape is bomb and everything girl uh, I just wish this side was like this side. I wouldn't have no problems, but we'll get it together, okay? I'm going to do a whole lot of protein treatments and deep conditioners, and we're going to get our curls together, okay? I may or may not come back in like a couple of hours because I'm really not doing anything today other than editing this video. I know y'all probably like, girl, you're starting to ramble, but I'm going to come back later, maybe around like 8, 9 o'clock so y'all can see how it looks when it's like a little bit more dry, okay? So... I'm going to do that, so I'm not going to close this video off yet, but y'all better have liked the video, okay? Because I didn't, I didn't gave y'all some dedication, okay? Okay. Okay, you guys, so it's been a little bit longer. It's about, like, uh, 7.30 right now. This is what my hair is looking like. Do remember that my hair is not perfect. I just really made this video to try to help you guys combat some of the issues that you may have within your hair like I do. Like, he damaged all the extra stuff that we already talked about. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope it was informative. Um, If you feel that way, honey, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't be scared to share some love over here, okay? Make sure you follow me on all of my social medias and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye mamas. Mwah.